Harmi, I have never seen a result so clearly in my mind as I do Wednesday's semi-final at the Wankity Stadium in Mumbai. I cannot get rid of the image in my head of New Zealand batting first, finding a way to put 300 on the board, as they always do. Ratchin Ravindra has uh, stolen the headlights and the spotlight, of course, with his uh, three centuries. But honestly, I, I see New Zealand batting first, putting 300 on the board, and Trent Bolt taking two or three power play wickets, putting that Indian team under pressure for the first time in the tournament. And part of me thinks, well, you know, not many teams win 10 in a row in ODI cricket. But I, it's I don't know why. I, I just see this New Zealand, who with a 5-4 record in the group games, I see them winning. I see them beating India. And I hope them, I, I wish them safe passage out of the country if they do. Yeah, safe passage out of the country. Do you know what, man, as I've been thinking exactly the same. I've been thinking exactly the same. The one team for the last two weeks, the one team, India, don't want to finish fourth is New Zealand because they're starting to get fit. They're all fit. They're all starting to fire. Gain's back. You know, but Bolt's got power play wickets now. Um, Southie's back in. I was like, I'm sure Robert Sharma's going, come on, Pakistan. Come on, Pakistan. Because that would have been that would have been the semi-final that probably India didn't, the country didn't want, but the um the players probably wanted. They didn't want the, the, India India win the final comfortably. Uh, the final would be non-event if it, well, I think England uh, India playing Australia and, and South Africa. I think they'll blow them away. I don't think they'll blow well, New Zealand away. And I've been saying for the last sort of week or so that, especially out in India when I was working out there, was that this is the one team they didn't want to face. And especially the way they're playing now, they're just coming into peak four. Um, and haven't been tested, you know, get runs on the board and that that 10 overs in the in the the sort of it just in just as it goes dark, you know, in the darkness, that first 10 overs of the second innings, especially in the one carry when the ball's got a bit on it, a bit more a, a bit more off the pitch. Um I don't I think I think India would rather have played India in I think India would rather have played New Zealand in Kolkata than play them in the one carry because the ball would have sat in the pitch, more comfortable Indian surfaces. This would be a belter at, uh, in Mumbai. And I think because of that, New Zealand will get a score if they bat first. New Zealand, I mean, India will want to chase. You know, Virat Kohli's record chasing is ridiculous, averaging over 90. So I would imagine India would want to chase. But I tell you what, if they bat 50 overs, India, them first 10 overs, that could be the difference between nobody in Ahmedabad for the final or 130,000 people in Ahmedabad for the final, because I think that would be the game. Um, and it's going to be great to see. I'm really looking forward to that. As much as I've enjoyed the way South Africa have bashed it, and you know, Maxwell has on one leg, on no legs, got, you know, got Australia over the line. Um, I don't think that, I, I can see that being a good game, but it's not a game I'm you know, going to race to tell you to watch. I'm desperately going to do everything I possibly can to watch that India-New Zealand semi-final, because I'm like you, man, Got a funny feeling India are going to get beat. I think New Zealand are going to go on, and they might. I think they might go on and win it, but it'll be a closer game if they play South Africa or Australia. But I just got that sneaky feeling that it isn't going to be ten in the row, and Kohli's not going to get that fiftieth century, and India are not going to lift the World Cup in their back garden because of what it, what New Zealand bring to offer. Bolt's playing at his home, IPL home in in Mumbai. Um, knows the, the the surface and the conditions. You know, he hadn't had a power. He hadn't had too many. He had two power play wickets up until the last game and gets three for thirty. Gets man a uh, player to match. Everything's aligning for New Zealand to come good just at the right uh, at the last at the last fence. On AM, on DAB, via the Talksport app, and on your smart speaker. Talksport.